Thank you for watching today. This is Kinnear. Welcome back to another Starfield New Game Plus video. If you're following the series, in the last video, we started the Sysdef and Crimson Fleet quest line following the invitation from Commander Tuala of the UC Vanguard. We sold some Aurora, faked the death of a former Crimson Fleet member, and convinced the second in command to let us join. In this video, we're heading directly to the Key for a pirate meet and greet and our introduction to the top pirate, Delgado. Once we're there, we'll loot the place and get Jessamine Griffin to join our crew as a new companion. So let's get started. With the coordinates from Neva, we'll jump to the key. We've arrived at Suvarov in the Crix system. Great thing about this place is the moment you arrive, you're almost immediately within range to dock. Unlike the Eye and some other places. Unfortunately, when you want to run back to the vendors, it takes a little more time. You got your cut. Now get out of my face. You said the tank was 10k. So first we get to witness a little fight. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k. Did you, you need my help with something? Thanks for letting you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <gasps> you kidding me? I'll take that. Including pirate swashbuckling gear. I literally stole the guy's extra outfit. Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock. I do really like their spacesuits. The hell took you so long? The designs are fantastic. The stuff that's in the artwork, if you bought the digital artwork book too, just looks great. Like they have talented people. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rake getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. I don't care. Time is money and you've wasted both. I don't think there's a good answer for her. All that aside, She's just going to be argumentative. Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I am trapped in a dialogue. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. All right. Rook meets King, follow Neva. So, the key... I think there's some minor loot along this hallway, but not much. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies go to Supermax... I do find the pirates along the hall kind of amusing. They usually have some kind of snide remark to make. Or they're talking about Grog. They are definitely into the baser instincts. It's got a clipboard. Nice. We've got everything the fleet needs right here. The Reckoner's core. Gotta pay for it. What that guy's doing up here? On the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie. I'm that guy doesn't seem very aggressive. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. That's jazz. Angel, this here is Jasmine. She is the ship services technician and all other things technical on this space station. So anyway, we were talking about the lot. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the... This is the main vendor area. Guy on the right sells spacesuits. With the same old Aludris sells weapons, obviously. 
Everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Brooke. Where well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't... It's always dark in here. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much... Karen Callis. ...the key. I don't really steal from these guys most of the time. I don't know what that guy's doing. Just buy and sell. The good news is these these vendors will all buy contraband as well. And some of them have got really nice credit limits. I don't remember what the total is here, but it's something like five vendors. Several of them have 5,000. Several of them have... A couple of them have 11,000, 12,000. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but... I think she's at 11,000. Let's check. Oh, they won't let me talk to her. Meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take... Not quite as good as Neon, just because there aren't as many shops. But given that these are all in the same area, very convenient. We collected the hard way. The hard way. Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the It's not a terribly long run to get back here either, so when you dock your ship, you do have to go through a door to get here. But it's not terrible. Yeah, that's the trade authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. We'll go into the bar later. Clinic, you can buy med supplies in there. She'll patch you up. If You've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? I don't think there are any free clinics anywhere in the system, so like I'm pretty sure I had to pay at all the regular reliant medical places too, so there's there's nothing new there. Down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. Shinya Voss. Run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Wraith? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. You'll bleed creds. I have a suspicion. I have a theory. Neva thinks everyone's a pain in the ass. The pin on that little party pop. That is literally the core of her character. Kenya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yeah, What's going on with his hair? This is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the There's some weird shadow effect. In fact, I find Shadows show up a just a fraction of a second late. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I yes, yes. Betrayal is bad. I've been told. If I would try to leave the fleet, you will kill me. Or someone will kill me. Obviously not you. You're stuck here. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind. And a certain degree of safety. It's why he's the boss. Let's make sure we always say good things about the top pirate. To bear a bomb under my we are trying to ingratiate ourselves. Smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. Um, thanks to advanced modifications, even Dugin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the. So he has a nice gaming chair. This allows me There's nothing special on the screens. And more efficiently than any run of the mill cyber run. Pretty sure he's looking at Yahoo Finance there. There. You're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing and 
you'll be one of us. Arg, let's say something piratey. I'm here to make money. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the... I've granted you all the... If Neva's chosen one... No, I believe that covers all I have. Take the elevator to the upper level. I think before we go see Del Delgado, we'll look around. Mission board, mission board. In the gym. Smell of a dead shark after you cook them with an energy blast. Too many missions, not enough time. Oh, there's a magazine over here. Peak performance. Again, I already have that perk, but when you pick it up for the first time, if you don't have it, you'll get it. There are a bunch of these slates around with interviews with Jasper Cricks. Oh, God, parents. I don't think collecting them actually gets you anything. It's just interesting lore. So I'll let him play. We'll go into the bar. The last Nova. There's a lot of loot in here that's worth grabbing right off the bat, and for some reason they don't care. You would think pirates would be far more possessive. There's another magazine, Grunt. There's money on the table and drinks, and they don't care if you take them. Loot all the things. Oh, there's Jessamine. She's dancing. I think I can recruit her right now. So we'll go ahead and we'll put on my fancy Walter clothing and chug a bottle of wine. Hey, Cap, are you hiring? Got some baddies on my tail and I need a place to lay low. <laughs> this animation's a little disturbing. Theft. Ballistic weapon systems and concealment. So she actually gives us a nice perk if you don't already have ballistic weapon systems, at least at two on your own. One of my other companions already has ballistic weapon systems, but I think it's just one. I'd have to look up to see who that is. Little persuasion. If I wasn't willing to cut a deal, would I? Let's hush it out. We'll just take the easy path. Oh. I just, I overlooked that. That's ballistic weapon systems. I was thinking about somebody who had particle beam weapon systems. Mariko Barros has particle beam weapon systems, which is useful. I don't actually use ballistic weapon systems. Yeah, I hope so. So that's not terribly useful. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. You're a good negotiator, Cap. I'll cut you a deal. 6750 is very reasonable compared to other companions, so we'll bring her on board. And we'll assign her. Everybody's assigned. Up to six. Sounds like a plan. Need me for something, boss? I could use a little adventure. Great, so we'll bring her along. I'm not gonna talk to him, he'll throw a quest at you, but I will pick up all of the grog. Another Crix interview. Certainly. Let's talk about something else. Two digit picks over in the corner. I really didn't know pirates like to dance that much. I guess they do. More grog. I think it's primarily carry capacity. Exactly. Some Aurora on the side. Bob's Grog, Aurora. I think that's about it. There might be something. Oh, there's some more. Yep. And another Digipick. So that's at least three Digipicks in here. It's worth a minute. Go back out to Reckoner's core. Do you feel these 
embarrassing failures led them to form UC systems. <laughs> Absolutely. We can loot the range. Pick up a little bit of ammunition. Not taking the elevator up. And these are all the quarters for the regular pirates. I don't remember if there's anything great in here. I mean, I don't think there's anything good. Kind of disgusting, don't you think? But I will walk around. Yeah, once you've cleared out this bottom floor, you can go up. Give me an and I'm good. Take the elevator to the top. Delgado's on your left. I'm going to avoid him for just a minute. On the right are the captain's apartments. That's the apartment you would get if you finish this whole quest line and you side with the Crimson Fleet. The rest of these we're just going to run through and loot. The loot's not spectacular. However, there are a couple slates with interviews with Jasper Cricks. It's interesting lore if you've not heard it before. Just pick them up and they'll start playing. Otherwise, it's a few credits here or there. There is an evidence slate we'll find as we go through this area as well that can be turned into Jillian Toft. Now, there's a special note on the evidence slates that we collect through this whole series. Oh, look, stolen artwork. Nice. And we can sell it on this station. So as we collect evidence slates going through this entire series, some of those will be evidence on Crimson Fleet pirate captains. Some of those will be evidence on NPCs, unrelated to Crimson Fleet. It's safe to turn in the ones that aren't related to the Crimson Fleet captains. If you haven't decided if you're going to go sysdef or you're going to side with the Crimson Fleet at the very end of this process, and you will have to make that decision at the end, but if you haven't decided, hold on to the evidence slates that you collect as you go. Because if you decide at the end to side with Crimson Fleet, you really don't want to have turned in multiple Crimson Fleet captains to Sysdef. They will have rounded them up, put them in the brig, and they will not be available for the final battle. They won't be on your side, their ships won't be in space with you, and you'll have to kill more Sysdef ships. If on the other hand, you plan on siding with Sysdef, instead of the Crimson Fleet, turn them all in. They will take a bunch of pirate captains off the field of battle for that final battle, making it easier for you. If you followed my ship guide or one of the ship guides before the patch and you have good weapons on your ship and a class C ship and a strong shield, that final battle is pretty reasonable. If you're doing this on something smaller or if you're still using the Starborn Guardian, that final battle can be kind of a bear. And it will make a difference if there are four captains missing and their ships aren't there fighting either against you or if they're there fighting side by side with you against Sysdef. So hang on to the evidence slates. Be careful what you turn in. Make sure as you go through this that uh, you don't turn in any pirate captains if you want them to be on your side. Jasper Cricks is actually fun to listen to. Oh, there's an evidence slate in here. Myra's demise. That one says evidence after it, so that's how you know. And we get an update on the quest, which is great. So return evidence to Lieutenant Toft. So we actually cleared a lot of this downstairs area, although I must have missed a turn. It's a little bit like a maze. Went up in the elevator and cleared out the captain's area and found a set of stairs that brought us back down here. So we're going to go back upstairs. Let's go sell that contraband right off the bat. This is the trade authority guy. Hope you've brought me something interesting. We'll have to go through his initial dialogue. Back off, I'm not your friend. I like that one. It reminds me of South Park. I'm not your buddy, pal. Business on the key is... Not everyone thinks so. There are I'm not very sad for you, buddy. You're, you're like working... You're working on a pirate station. I'm yeah, hoping. I'm sure it's tough. <laughs> I'm sure it's terrible. All right, so... We took care of that.
Oh, I'm going to skip this. There's a, I, I think it's a bug in the game where every time you change ships, all these materials that are in the ship, these dumb items, miscellaneous garbage, get moved over to your new ship's inventory. If you do that several times, you end up with a lot. We're going to skip this or speed it up really fast, but we're just going to clear garbage out of the ship. Okay, we're done with him. You find anything of value, bring it here first. Let's get upstairs and meet Delgado. There are multiple ways to get upstairs. The elevator's one. Those square tangles ah, still themselves. There is our other new recruit. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, right, let's just... Very matter of fact. I guess they won't be joining us ever again. I like that. Put her neck on the line and vouch for you. Choose dialogue options that sound like a pirate. You and everyone else on the station. All right, let's guess. When you sign up with it, you stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Boss. <laughs> Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the lot. I'm impressed. That is the Mathis will become a companion later on if you side with the Crimson Fleet and finish the entire quest line. You also need to make sure that along the way you don't tell Delgado to cut him loose. One of the cool things about this quest line is along the way Delgado will ask you if you should let certain people stay in or join the Crimson Fleet. It's a little odd. You're a brand new person. I'm not sure they know you, but he starts letting you make those kinds of decisions or at least influence his decisions. Anyone you keep in the fleet will be available in the final battles later, and Mathis in particular will become a recruitable companion, and you can take him with you. And he has some amusing dialogue. I like companions. Exactly. Okay. I to that end, the next stop is the lock. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. And we're done with Rook meets King. One more thing before we go. Inside the main control room, upstairs, is Delgado's office and nav table. And his bedroom. We have another interview slate. We'll pick that up. This book gets us a location for a snow globe on Earth, the Osaka landmark. If you're collecting those, oh, guns. That's a little bugged out. There's duplicate guns. We'll take them all anyway. Let's check his office. I'm on the brink of a score so large, it makes everything else pale in comparison. If you want to know about Delgado as a, as a young hooligan, aren't willing to discuss the details why grant evidence. boss parts evidence that's one of those evidence slates you don't want to turn in if you're going to be working with the crimson fleet going forward and that's it let's get out of here and we're actually going to circle back for one more evidence slate Community center on P1. this one pointed out in a comment by lewis capel 3020 thank you very much Back where we met Adler Kemp, behind him on the desk, or the table, is a slate about Neva. Neva! Sit down, have a drink. So... So if you do want to turn her in, you'll want to have this and give this to Lieutenant Jillian Toft at some point in time. Make this quick. There's only so long I can... If you're also curious about what Adler Kemp thinks about Neva, you can ask him for some details. It's a fascinating bit of dialogue. So that's a wrap for this one. We've successfully joined the Crimson Fleet. We've opened up access to the key, unlocked five new vendors, recruited Jessamine Griffin as a crew member, looted evidence slates, skill magazines, a snow globe book for a nostalgic trip back to Earth, if you like that kind of thing. And finally, Delgado wants us to join him for an adventure on the surface of the nearby planet. But we'll get to that one later. Thank you so very much for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. Just a reminder, no amount of regret can change the past and no amount of worrying can change the future. The best preparation for tomorrow is to do your best today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, tag the subscribe and notification bell. Hope you come back. This is Kinnear. Until next time, I'm out.